Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Midwest Charm. I am here today with a thrift haul and I was gonna say a quick one, but I actually have quite a bit. <laughs> um, last weekend we hit two thrift stores of the local chain. Uh, it goes up and down our main freeway. Decided to do a, um, like if you went a progressive sale, if you first one you went and you got 10% off, if you hit the second store, it was 20. And I think they had five stores, so it went up to 50%. Um, we just went to the two, one in the neighboring city and then the one in ours. So I'm going to go over those items first. And then today we hit two Goodwills and score. Like I have so many DIY projects, it's ridiculous. So let me jump right into this. Um, at the local one, I got these old blocks um, and you can see, there we go. Yeah, you can actually see on there that there is like some old lettering on there. So these are old vintage blocks. They were $1.50 with 10% off. These ones are just some assorted wood beads and those were $1.25. Um, again, just some more assorted wood beads, $1.25. And like these little spindles, I don't even know what you'd want to call those. These were $1.50. And then I got the cutest little birdhouse. This I thought would be perfect for on a tiered tray. Um, it will get painted though, because I do think we need to make this cute. So I got that. I'm just trying to kind of sort as we go through. Um, also at that one, I got this cute little box. I liked the cute details in the hardware um, swings open. It's nice and clean, super cute. It's cute as is. We can go uh, actually put it on my finished shelf now and see if we can sell it like this. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have to put stuff in this box over here. Um, also up there, oh, I got this cutting board, breadboard. I don't know what you wanna call it. Again, a really cool shape. So the second one, We've gotten recently with a really cool shape. This was a dollar and we got 10% off of that one. I will on that one, it was like I said on the other one, I'm going to sand that down, clean it up, and then just oil it really good. Um, and then at that last or that first stop we made, I got this dresser mirror. This was a $7.50. So this will get some paint on it. Um, it's just for on top of a dresser. They're really neat. I like it. It's the first one I've actually seen that's been a decent price where I can still make some money flipping it. So I was really happy with that. Then I can't remember if this was at the first stop or the second stop we did. Um, this is a made in a German Democratic Republic. This was in their um, antique section, which are the blue tags. So this was marked at nine. 50 and I would have gotten the 10 percent off okay on to the second stop um I had 20 percent off at this one and was there another discount as well I don't remember but I think everything we got was green tagged that day uh, I got this wood spoon I was marked 250 I know I probably paid up for this but I mean hello butterfly and you know, I love those on Crocs, which reminds me I'm missing something from here, so I'll find that in a second. I got this cool old hook for 25 cents, minus the 20%. I got some embroidery hoops. These were 50 cents, 50 cents, and 75 cents, 20% off. These are always fun for crafts. And then I got some, two different sets. They were a dollar each, minus the 20%. Um, they're for paper plates, but these are, a boho is really coming in and these look really cool in a display on your wall or I don't know, but I grabbed them thinking I can't even paint them. All right. Now, before I go on to the next mess, I'm going to shift everything over. So give me just a minute. Okay. So before I move on to the two stops that we had today, I'm actually going to show you, we stopped at, um, after we got our second shot. Our second vaccination, we stopped at the local flea market. I got two Crocs. These are actually pretty nice sized Crocs. Um, there's no cracks in them. You know, they've got all the nice chippy goodness that old Crocs have. And this one's a little bit, this next one, if I can grab it. 
dang, there it is, is a little bit taller than the other one. The other one's a little bit shorter and wider. This one's a little bit taller and skinnier. And they were five bucks each. Grabbed them as fast as I could. All right, and now on to the haul today. I've got so many DIY projects. I'm gonna go over some of the glass stuff first so I can get that moved out of the way. And then we'll concentrate on the wood stuff that will actually be DIY projects. So these I grabbed, they're just some vintage USA pottery. Can you see that in there? Um, they were 99 cents each. I grabbed them because they're that really nice cream color. I got this cute little creamer. It has the navy around the lip. I didn't even peel the stickers off yet to check anything on these. Um, it's vintage. It's got a nice weight to it. I just liked it because of the speckling that it has in the finish. So we have that. Then we have this USA Pottery. This could be Hager now that I'm looking at this. It is. So I don't know if it's a planter or a bowl. It looks like a planter to me. But I liked the bright sunny yellow and I had grabbed this colander for $3.99. This bowl was $1.99. But I was like, how cute would it be to have that bright yellow poking through there? I love it. So we have that. And then this crock was $5.99. Maybe overpaid for it, but I love it. And then it's got some faded marking here as well some crazing I like that this will be left as is I really liked how that turned out how that what that is I should say and the last glass item is this jar it's actually a lot heavier than it looks but it is huge as well the seal's really good on the lid I don't know if I'm going to put a label on this or not yet as of right now it's going to stay as is um, and then I'll figure it out. Let me put this down. Okay. And now on to DIY projects. There's so much over here. I just don't even know where to start. So first up, Katie found this coffee canister. I've not even taken the tape off to see if it's got a seal. It does have an airtight seal on it. It's got the seal on the lid and then there's the plastic inside. So this will get painted and distressed and probably waxed so that you can see the coffee. I just dropped it. A little handmade cake plate stand. Cake stand, what am I? <laughs> uh, anyways, this was $2.99. Um, it was definitely a home DIY project. It's stained in gray, but I will probably paint over this and distress back to this so we get that nice chippy with the gray popping underneath. This was $4.99. I love this so much. Um, I don't know why I do. I'm not going to do anything to this. This will stay as is. I don't know what I'm going to put in it even. Maybe some washcloths rolled up or something. Dish towels maybe. But I really, really like that. Next up is this little scoop, and this was $2.99. Um, it does have a label on it. I don't know anything about the brand. I haven't even looked up any of this. Um, Ardco, fine quality, made in Japan, so it's vintage. Um, I just liked it. I don't know. I like it. And this cool wood bowl was $3.99. And it looks like it was a freebie giveaway celebrating 5 millionth Frigidaire. I like the fact that it had the little feet. So this will, I can't see it on my table, but this will definitely get painted up and can be used, you know, just to hold a plant, to put your fruit in, whatever. It's super cute. It's super versatile. I love the little feet on it. Next up, as well this looks like our little scoop it's not quite um this will get painted most likely in a chippy paint um it was more than i should have paid but i love it um this was 5.99 and it can be used for your mail you can put some florals in there lots of possibilities on that one Again, I don't even know what I'm doing with any of this stuff yet. We literally got home and it's decently quiet. So I'm like, let's do it. 
This is from, I can't read the name of the store it's from. I'll turn that around, it's from Wisconsin. It was $3.99. It looked like they had planned to do an American flag on it. I don't know if you can see, they have it already lined out, but um, super cute. Raw wood, so I can do whatever to that one. And then we have this hand-painted little, I would assume this is a plant stand, um, and that's probably what I'll refinish it as. Made in Brazil, Ziprino, something like that. I paid $4.99 for this. And honestly, I'm gonna sand off the flowers, don't shoot me, paint this up. And if it does not sell, I know for a fact Katie has called dibs on this one. So, I'm gonna move that down to the floor. Next up, we have a little mail holder. Let's see what this, this was $4.99. Good wood. Anyways, it's got a nice spot for the keys already on there. Um, this, I always do really well when I sell mail organizers like this. Bigger ones, even smaller, it doesn't matter. I do really well on them. This will get a coat of paint or two and distressed back. I may label or put something on these areas. Not entirely certain yet, but it was super cute. And, uh, you know, we had really good luck today. Um, next up is this ruler vintage it's got the brass pieces in it the square um i paid a dollar 99 for this and honestly i may be keeping this one for myself so there's the brass hardware on it and then on the end i really just love the old look of this wood the color it is and i kind of like it so i may keep it next up i thought i'd gotten a second little round box but maybe not this was $3.99 and it's got the little drawer this will get a nice coat of paint the mirror unfortunately does not come out so I'm just gonna have to be careful while painting that one um, got some a bag and I typically shy away from these because you end up getting stuff you don't want I paid $5.99 for this for literally the two things I wanted this little wooden handled strainer and a little wooden handle. I don't know if this is for biscuits or donuts, but it was super cute. Um, it also came with a cheese slicer and an old whisk. So I'm not sure if I'll just redonate those two items or what, but for the other two pieces, totally worth it for me. Next is another piece of wood made in the Philippines. This was $3.99. I will paint this white, distress it back, make it look like an old doble. I've never had a problem selling anything like that before. And then last but not least, a basket that hangs on the wall. These are really, really on trend right now. This was $4.99, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint the bottom or just leave it that and sell it as is with some, um, I don't have them by me, but I have some um, nice lavender stems I could throw in there or something. I think that may be everything. It's kind of everywhere down here tonight. And I can't remember if I showed you guys. I finished this little box and I don't think I ever took pictures. I haven't taken any to stage up or and I need to do that. So that's actually before I work on this haul. Oh, last but not least. <laughs> I found more jars with lids. Three of them. They were $2.99 each. Like I said, I can get $10 bucks out of each of that size. So I grab those every day. Um... Yeah, I'm not, got to get this cleaned up, get my stuff staged, pictures taken before I can start on it. And I'm really excited. I'm really, really in love with everything I got. And I hope you liked it too. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends if they like this kind of content. And we'll see you next time. Bye.